If you lost your job because of AI, you might as well get one with AI. In today's video, we're exploring how to use artificial intelligence powered automations to apply for jobs in a super personalized way with one click. But before taking a look at this crazy AI use cases, check out this outsourcing guy. His name is AJ Jacobs and he is an OG at automation and delegation. He got laid off because of outsourcing. I was laid off from my job a year ago by outsourcing. They outsourced my job in, in the computer industry. And then he used outsourced labor to help him get a job. I hired an outsourcer to look for a job for me. <laughs> We're going to pull AJ Jacobs today, but in 2023 by using AI-based automations. Check out this very first one. We're going to go on LinkedIn to apply for some jobs. Here we have a few different ones and Notion is recommended. Senior operations engineer. I would definitely not qualify, but let's see what AI can say. Here we have about us. So this is the mission of Notion and about the role. So this is perfect. I'm going to open the burning Chrome extension over here and find the automation that's called create AI generated job application as an email draft. So all I need to do is I need to input my name and my LinkedIn profile link just like this. And then here I'm going to remember input so that I can apply to jobs with just one click. So I only specify it once click save and run playbook. All right, and here we have the result. Here is our message. Dear Notion, I'm writing to apply for security operations engineer role at Notion. I believe that my experience and skills make me an ideal candidate for the position. I'm an entrepreneur and lifestyle engineer from San Francisco, California. And there we say I have experience building systems or tooling to secure and monitor cloud environments, etc. So this is the part that's taken from the actual job description. Let me show you under the hood so that you can understand what the hell just happened. Let's hover over here and open this automation in the builder. So the first thing that we're doing is we're scraping the LinkedIn account that I provided. This is my LinkedIn account. Obviously you're going to have yours. And then we're using an open AI action to summarize all of the information in your profile into something a little bit more digestible. Then we have another scraper. Scraper copies information from the currently open page. And here we're scraping the currently open job post. Then we're feeding that job post to another AI summary action. And then in the next section, we are creating a prompt that will feed to OpenAI. Let's scroll to the very top. And here we say, write a very professional job application, make it on behalf of me, and we'll provide my name and the summary. And then we say, use information from the job post and make it hyper specific. So that's our prompt. And then finally, we're feeding it to the get an AI composed email action. So it takes that prompt and then creates an AI composed job application. And finally, we're going to create a draft of that email so that you can customize it further and send it off. You can grab a link to this exact automation in the description of this video. But if you really want to take your AI job application process to the next level, keep watching because I have a few more super crazy use cases. On average, it's going to take you quite a bit of time to land the job of your dreams. What is going to happen meanwhile? You gotta eat, right? And for that, we might want to go to Upwork to land some freelancing gigs also with AI. Check this out. Here we are on Upwork and here are a few jobs that we can apply to on behalf of my freelancer account. So this guy needs an ads expert for an e-com real estate course. Let's open up Bardeen and use this other automation that I've created. There we have it, create an AI generated Upwork job application. I'm going to specify my name and remember input, let's go. And check this out. Hello, Brendan. I'm interested in this freelancing gig to build and manage e-com real estate course website sales campaign. I have prior experience with real estate class sales and I am confident that I can help you manage the campaign effectively. And then AI goes and answers a few questions that were asked in the application. My monthly ad management rate is going to depend on the scope of the project. And here's the best part. 
Here it says, I'm confident that I can work with you to ensure that the ads are up to the code and avoid any potential problems in the future. And if we look at the application itself, it had three questions. It asked, do you have experience with real estate class sales? And the second one, what is your rate? And finally, the guy asked if there are any dangers of running ads like this. Boom, nailed it. Now let me go ahead and apply for this exact position. I'm going to open Berdeen and copy the result just like this. Click on apply now. Paste my cover letter over here and click on send. Bam, proposal send, off to the next one. From here, let me check out any other job post that has a decent description. For example, this one. Open Bardeen and generate another hyper-personalized application. Bam, this one is a longer one. Let's copy it and apply to that job as well. Paste the cover letter and send another connection request. Bam, that's two jobs. Frankly, it would usually take me around 20 minutes to do just one and there we go. You can technically build a similar automation for pretty much any website on the internet. You just need to know the fundamentals. Let's try to recreate these automations from scratch for Indeed. All right, let's go to indeed.com. Let's look up some cool jobs. For example, head of content in San Francisco. Click on search. All right, and there we have our first application. There is a bunch of data, such as how much they're willing to pay, some information about the position, what they do, the role, etc. Let's break down this automation into a few blocks. So first we need to somehow extract information from the currently open page about what the job is about. To do this, we're going to use the scraper. I'm going to open Bardeen and create our automation. So create playbook, and then I'm going to find scrape action and we can scrape information on the active tab, which is the currently open tab. Let's click on here. And here we're asked which scraper template want to use. Scraper template just informs Bardeen what information want to collect from the currently open page. We're going to create a new scraper template and pick this tab. And then we have two options here. We can extract the entire list from right there, or we can extract information from a single page, which means that there are no repeating elements. Let's call the scraper template indeed job scraper. And then all we need to do is we need to click on a specific element on the website and give it a name. Let's call this part job title. Here we have the location of the position. And here we have some information about the role. I'm not sure if I will be able to extract exactly this information on all posts. And instead, I'm just going to grab all of the information about this post. So uh, job post is going to be that third field that we're looking for. And let's see if there's a hiring manager. I don't think there is one, which is fine. Otherwise we could have personalized it. Let's grab the name of the company. Just like this, our scraper is created. At the bottom, we have the preview of all of the fields that we're collecting. We can even get some special fields, such as the currently open URL, which we cannot click on. So page link, and let's grab the URL of this post. I'm going to save this scraper template. And just like this, we can already work with data from the currently open page. The next thing that we want to do is we want to extract the relevant information on this page. I'm going to add a new action and I'm going to click on open AI. And there we have a bunch of different actions. So we can get the summary of the entire post, which is also going to include some information that might not be as relevant. So instead I'm going to, for the first time, use this other action that's called get answers about a paragraph. And then here I'm going to provide the body of that application. So body of the job post. And then you can ask the question such as, um, what is the job post about? Be specific. All right, uh, just like this, I have that answer about the paragraph. Let me click on done. And instead of finishing this automation right now, I just wanna go ahead and test it. I'm going to click on done here as well and call this indeed job application. This is the name of our automation. Let's click on save. And let's run it and see what information it extracts. All right, and there we go. This job post is a full-time head of marketing position at this company, requires eight years of experience. This is exactly what I needed. This is genius. I'm loving it already. I've never done it before.
All right, I'm going to open this automation back in the builder. So extracting information from the currently open page, then finding the information about the job description, and then all I want to do is I want to create uh, a text prompt. So there's this uh, merge text action, again, which will allow us to combine different pieces of text easily. And here I'm going to generate a prompt that will send over to OpenAI. We're going to say something like uh, create a very uh, specific and personalized job application for, I'm going to do semicolon, I'm going to feed some information from the scraper action. So uh, let's feed the company name and then make the application based on the following job description. And then here we're going to use that summary from action number two. And I think that should suffice. Uh, the last thing I want to do is I'm going to create a new action, click on open AI, and I'm going to use the action that's called generate an essay with OpenAI. An essay means that you pretty much can generate any type of text. So here we're going to use that prompt that we just created in the previous action, action three. And here I can specify a style and that's exactly what we're going to do here. Here I'm going to say job application that will be sent on Indeed. Uh, that looks good enough for me. Uh, that's pretty much all I wanted. Let's click on done and let's take a look at the result. Bam, and there's this beautiful application. Again, if you want to make it more specific, you can just feed it more information about your background, where you work. All you need to do is to customize that prompt that we looked at earlier and it should do the job. It's not rocket science. So you can copy this application from here, customize it if you wanted to, and click on apply on the company site and just paste it there. That's all it takes. When you're applying for jobs with AI or without, the most important part is thinking and AI cannot do this for you. And what I mean is design thinking. We need to reverse engineer the solution. Instead of us thinking how we can apply to more jobs faster, we should put ourselves in the shoes of the hiring manager and ask questions like, who would be the dream come true type of candidate and be that candidate. For that, at Bardeen, we built the dream job hub that will walk you through the entire process of landing your dream job. And it's completely free. This template is going to help you understand what a dream job looks like. And we're going to introduce the concept of value validation process, which makes it pretty much impossible not to get a job. Make sure to check out this template in the description of this video. It's called the dream job hub. And the best part is that this entire template is powered by automations for job hunting similar to the ones that you saw in this video. So you remember that LinkedIn job application automation that I just showed you? It actually came from one of our ambassadors, Ignacio. Make sure to check out Bardeen community on Slack to talk more about job hunting use cases and what else you can automate in your day-to-day -day life. And if you like this video, make sure to click on this video next where I'm going to walk you through all of the stages of landing your dream job. See you there.